Hello, I'm Jason. Welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. Uh, in the last section, we did a lot of talking about the reasons why Laplace Transform might be useful, a lot of the uh, overarching ideas there, and then we derived the essential Laplace Transform for some very important uh, function class, which is the exponentials, right? Because those things, if you remember differential equations, those things pop up all the time. Um, here we're going to derive another Laplace Transform, essential, essential one here. Um, and again, I could just give this to you. Most books will just give this to you or give you a really short derivation without showing everything. Um, I think that sometimes in math, doing a real derivation can help you, and sometimes it's not worth it. So later on, we're going to get some stuff where I don't think it's worth it. But here, I think this is worth it. So let's learn how to take the Laplace transform of a very important function, t to the power of n. And notice we're talking about functions of time. Um, and so this in this, case, in this case, n is greater than 0. So in other words, this is going to let you understand and learn how to take Laplace transforms of t squared, or t to the fifth, t to the you know, 1, whatever. Anyway, when you have uh, powers of t. So what we want to do is really just apply the definition of what Laplace transform really is. So what we're going to have here is we'll say that this is going to equal, this Laplace transform of this guy is going to equal the integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus s times t. Then we have to put in our function. In this case, it's t to the power of n, which we don't know what n is. It could be you know, t to the fifth, t to the sixth, whatever. Uh, and we're integrating, of course, over time. So if you know how to look at this and write the answer down, which most people aren't going to, I don't know how to just look at it and write the answer down, then that's the Laplace transform and you're, you're golden. For most of us, we have to work through that. And again, it's given to you in a table of Laplace transforms, but I want to go through how to integrate this to kind of show you where it really comes from. Um, now, the best way to do this is integration by parts. Uh, and if you haven't studied integration by parts in a while, it's kind of one of those things you have to kind of keep in your head because as you march through more advanced math, it's going to pop up over and over again. Uh, some of these things you just have to remember uh, from calculus. So we're going to integrate by parts. So we'll write that down. Integrate by parts. And if it's been a while since you've done this, it's okay. I'll walk you through it. So basically, we need to define a u and a dv. So we're going to say u is equal to t to the power of n. dv is equal to everything else in this integral. So we have the exponential e to the minus st, and we have to carry that uh, in. So what you do is you take one part of the integral, define it as u, take everything else, including the differential, and define it as dv. And then we're going to make a substitution. But before we can make a substitution, we have to uh, take the derivative.